What if you stopped going outside? Think about it for a second. You decide that nature is completely overrated. You pull the blinds, cancel your hiking group chat, and proudly transform into a pajama-wearing, snack-hoarding indoor creature. Netflix? That's your new religion. DoorDash, your personal chef, and your couch? It slowly evolves into a second spine. Sounds like the dream life, right? No bug bites, no sweating through your shirt in summer, and no awkward small talk with your neighbor at the park. But here's the plot twist. If you actually committed to this indoors-only lifestyle, your body would turn on you faster than a cat you forgot to feed. And it's not pretty. Sunlight, nature's free prescription. The very first casualty of your indoor lifestyle is sunlight. At first, you might rejoice. No more sunburns, no more awkward farmer's tans, no more worrying about SPF numbers higher than your IQ. But beneath that smug sense of victory lurks a sneaky problem. You see, your skin isn't just a fleshy raincoat, it's a biochemical solar panel. When sunlight, specifically UVB rays, hits your skin, it joins forces with cholesterol, yes, the one bacon gets blamed for, to create vitamin D3. This is why vitamin D has the catchy nickname, the sunshine vitamin. Once created, vitamin D3 takes a little road trip through your bloodstream, stopping first at your liver, then checking into your kidneys, where it transforms into calcitriol, the superhero version of itself. Calcitriol is the key player that helps your body absorb calcium from food and send it straight to your bones. Without this process, your bones start behaving like poorly made IKEA furniture, wobbly, unreliable, and prone to collapse if leaned on too hard. Osteoporosis, osteomalacia, and bone pain are all on the menu if you decide sunshine is optional. But the bone saga doesn't stop there. That same vitamin D process also acts like a backstage manager for your immune system. Without it, you become the person who gets sick from looking at a sneeze. Endless colds, bouts of flu, and an immune system about as effective as a wet paper towel all follow your decision to stay inside. To make matters worse, research shows that people with low vitamin D levels are more likely to develop cancers, heart disease, and even depression Staying indoors isn't just inconvenient for your body, it's practically an eviction notice from good health. Why vitamin D is basically your body's secret weapon. Think of vitamin D as your personal bodyguard. When you're outdoors, soaking in rays, it shows up like a bouncer at a nightclub, keeping the bad guys, diseases, bone weakness, and cranky moods at bay. When you stay indoors, however, that bouncer quits, and suddenly, Every illness is on the guest list. Low vitamin D levels have been tied not just to weak bones and constant colds, but also to high blood pressure. Dr. Joel Kahn, a professor of medicine, noted that people with the least sun exposure often have the highest blood pressure. The culprit? A shortage of nitric oxide, a compound your body makes when sunlight hits your skin. Nitric oxide helps keep your arteries relaxed, smooth, and less likely to throw a blood clot party. Without it, your arteries tighten up like an over-caffeinated chihuahua, and the risk of heart attacks and strokes climbs. So the next time you grumble about sunscreen, remember that a little sun exposure is basically your body's way of saying, hey, let's not keel over today. Sun without the burn. Now let's talk sunscreen. For years, companies have convinced us that sunscreen is our knight in shining armor, saving us from the horrors of sunburn and skin cancer. And while it's true that slathering on SPF 100 will keep you from looking like a tomato, it also blocks the UVB rays you need to produce vitamin D. It's like installing blackout curtains on your solar panels and then wondering why the electricity bill is so high. So what's the solution? The trick is balance. You don't need to roast yourself like a rotisserie chicken, nor should you sprint indoors at the first sign of daylight. Exposing about 40% of your skin for 15 to 20 minutes in the middle of the day is usually enough to get your vitamin D fix. Once your skin starts to blush, that's nature's way of whispering, all right, champ, you've had enough. At that point, put on a wide-brimmed hat, 
roll down some long sleeves, or seek out a patch of shade. Think of it as flirting with the sun, just enough to keep things interesting, but not so much that you regret it later. Supplements, salmon, and the sad truth about mushrooms. Of course, there are times when the sun simply refuses to cooperate. If you live in a place where the sun doesn't climb above 50 degrees in the winter, you could spend hours outside and still get zero UVB rays. It's like standing in front of a vending machine with no money. You can stare all you want, but you're not getting anything out of it. In those cases, supplements come to the rescue. Adults may need as much as 8,000 international units of vitamin D3 a day. And yes, it must be D3, not its weaker cousin D2, which is about as effective as decaf coffee at keeping you awake. You can try getting vitamin D from food, but brace yourself. The quantities you'd need are absurd. Raw halibut provides a decent dose, but unless you're keen on eating raw fish daily, it's not exactly appealing. Canned salmon has a good amount too, but you'd need to shovel down over two pounds a day to meet your needs, and nobody's stomach wants that challenge. Egg yolks and fortified cereals help a little, but you'd still fall short unless you turn every meal into a bizarre egg cereal fusion buffet. Then there are mushrooms. Yes, they contain vitamin D, but mostly in the form of D2. Unless you find UV-treated mushrooms, the levels are low, and even then, you'd need to eat a mountain of them to rival what 15 minutes in the sun could do. In short, mushrooms are the backup singers of the vitamin D band. Nice to have, but they'll never steal the show. When your brain misses the outdoors, let's shift gears from bones to brains. Author Richard Louvre coined the term nature deficit disorder to describe what happens when people disconnect from the outdoors. It sounds like a made-up excuse to justify buying hiking boots, but research actually backs it up. Spending time in nature improves mood, boosts empathy, and stabilizes emotions. Staying indoors, by contrast, increases stress, anxiety, and the kind of twitchy paranoia usually seen in horror movie characters who definitely should not open that door. Being in natural surroundings, whether it's a forest, a park, or even a scruffy patch of grass, calms your nervous system in ways that city sidewalks simply can't. Add a river or lake into the mix, and the soothing effect is even stronger. Apparently, Humans are hardwired to relax around water, which explains why people will pay triple the rent just to have a view. Movement, the lost art of staying alive. Finally, let's talk about movement, or more accurately, the lack of it. When you're indoors, the most exercise you often get is reaching for the TV remote or carrying your laptop from the couch to the bed. Your step counter gives up, your muscles start to sulk, and your body decides it has better things to do than function properly. Without regular movement, your risk of type 2 diabetes skyrockets, your cardiovascular system starts acting like a moody teenager, and your overall life expectancy shortens. And not in a fun way, like getting out of work early. No, this is the depressing version, where your body waves a white flag and checks out sooner than you'd like. The bottom line is simple. When you stay inside, you don't just avoid fresh air, you avoid movement, and that sedentary lifestyle is basically an engraved invitation to disease. Go outside before your body stages a mutiny. So what's the takeaway? Staying indoors forever might sound like the ultimate cozy plan, but it's actually a slow motion health disaster. Your bones weaken, your immune system falters, your blood pressure rises, your mood tanks, and your body becomes a breeding ground for illnesses. Toss in a healthy dose of stress from nature deprivation and the dangers of constant sitting, and you've got yourself the perfect recipe for an early and avoidable downfall. But here's the best part. The cure is astonishingly simple. Just step outside, walk around the block, sit under a tree, listen to birds bicker about worms, touch some grass, literally, you don't have to climb Everest or kayak the Amazon to reap the benefits. You just need to break free from the walls of your home long enough to let nature and sunlight do their jobs. And that's it, folks. If you enjoyed this video and it gave you that little push to touch some grass, 
Don't forget to smash that like and don't forget to subscribe. Now go get some sunshine. Your bones, your heart, and your mood will thank you later. See you in the next video.